All right, Scorpio. The first card that we got here is for your underlying energy is the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is all about transitioning from one phase of your life to another. It can be a sad, mournful change. It's very symbolic. It's real, not symbolic, but it's very similar to death. Um, as you see with her leaving things behind, she looks very sad about it. Um, but she is leaving her past behind, letting it completely be behind her, so that way she can move on to the future. Now, for Scorpios, this is a transitional period in your time in your life right now. This is a transitional phase for you guys. Those are the energies that I'm picking up from this reading at this time. Um, letting go of the past, moving on to the future, heading to new lands here, um, and you know, in starting something fresh and new, right? Um, as you see here, this person here has a sun on top of his head. And that just speaks to me that he is guided by the light. So everything that you guys are doing with this transition that's going on with you guys at this time, this transition that's happening in your life right now, this is, this is being guided by the light. Okay. You guys are being guided by the light. You guys are being guided with, you know, with, with, um, purity and, um, with good intention. Okay. Everything happens for your good, for your higher good, your highest good. Now, the heart of your reading here is the Eight of Swords. This is kind of, this is feeling stuck in your head with a, with thoughts and um, overthinking. Um, and you're kind of overwhelmed with the amount of thoughts going on in your head right now that's making you feel so stuck. And you can't really see that the solution that you, that's... The solution to the problem is right in front of you. So this is a very stuck energy, um, st stuck in your thoughts and not seeing the, um, and that's not being able to see past what you see past what your fears are. Um, that's pretty much the situation. But the good thing about it is the good thing about the um, about the hermit crossing it is that you're taking steps to find the answers and look within yourself to get those answers, right? So, although you're feeling stuck in your thoughts right now, you're taking this time out to retreat and look within, okay? Um, usually when it's crossed, it's not... I, I don't really like to see the card crossed because it just means that you're being reclusive. You're not opening... You're, 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 you're kind of escaping more than retreating and looking for answers within. But for me, what I'm getting from this is that you are feeling trapped right now, but you're taking this time to look within to figure out why you're so trapped, to get out of that trapped state, um, to see, again, to see straight ahead and see what's really there instead of focusing on what is around you and being overwhelmed on, about things that, especially about the swords beside you that aren't even touching you are not even actually in your danger. Even though they're pretty close, they are actually not of danger to you because you can just walk forward, right? So with the hermit being uh, crossing you, it's it's saying that yes, you feel stuck at this time, but this is a, this is but you're taking this time now to retreat, search for your answers. Um, for some of you guys, what I'm getting here too, this feeling stuck and being stuck in your own head it can actually like with remember I said I don't really like having the hermit crossing because it's not very it's it's a spiritual card. But it also means that you're being very reclusive. And with this, for some of you guys, this could mean that, um, this could mean that you guys are feeling stuck in your head because you are sticking to yourself a little bit too much. You guys are just kind of being alone. And you guys aren't actually exercising that, the outgoingness, being out there in the, you know, in the real world. Perhaps you guys are stuck in your own space. And you guys are, uh, not, not really stuck in your space, but you guys refuse to step out and be in your, you know, be around people. And you kind of in on your own a lot more. And that's what's causing the, um, you know, the feeling of kind of having all these emotions. Or not having all these emotions, but having all these thoughts. It's overwhelming, making you feel stuck and making you feel trapped in your thoughts already. So for some of you, this is you guys trying to figure out or taking this time within to you know find your inner confidence find your inner your inner peace finding your inner truth um figuring out what is going on in your brain right now because it's kind of it's feeling stuck at this time you feel stuck 
with all the thoughts that are around you. Uh, for some of you, um, you guys are feeling stuck at this time and you guys are just taking this time out to really be more reclusive um, and being more on your own rather than expressing, um, it, or rather than just being in, being around people, I guess. Um, so that's there's this, this two already. The crowning energy for this week is the Knight of Pentacles. So this is about moving slow, planning, being analytical, not analytical, but very paying attention to details and moving in a meticulous fashion, okay? So you're moving with strategy. You're not moving with haste. Um, so this is about taking your time, okay? So the saying, this is your time to take your time, be slow, move slowly, because um, you can afford to move slowly at this time, all right? Uh, for some of you guys, this could be leaning on a younger uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, leaning for, to them for advice or for help through this transitional period. But this is a time for you guys to move slowly and really just uh, work within here, okay? Um, or just to uh, plan your steps, okay? Because the Knight of Pentacles doesn't do anything without a plan, okay? In the past... You have the Ace of Cups. So in the beginning you had... So in the end... Oh, sorry, in the beginning. <laughs> in the past you had a new beginning of, with love. Um, or beginning in love. Or perhaps a beginning of, um, of emotional um, emotional growth here. Um, there was definitely a beginning in regards to some um, some emotional, emotional growth. Um perhaps reconnecting with your intuition and your spiritual side because again you have the hermit here it's all about in, uh, spirituality internal spirituality and that's ace of cups here it's about spiritual that's spirituality it's about intuitive it, it's cups are about intuitivity um instincts intuition okay so this could be emotional growth. This could be um, a new beginning in love. But this is a love life reading. This is a, a, this is in regards to you guys being in love. Perhaps it's a new love that you are that you you started in the beginning, and now you guys are kind of waiting on your reward to come back. You guys are waiting for your manifestation to return to you. That's what I meant. You guys are waiting for your manifestation to return to you at this time. Um, as you see here, though, this could mean also that you guys are taking action at this time as well. Because after you receive your manifestation, what are you going to do? You know, I'm just going to sit there and just like, okay, what do I do, right? Nah, you're going to take action. So for some of you guys, not only have you guys, um, or you guys are currently waiting at this time, you guys are probably taking action at this time. In regards to a manifestation. So perhaps you guys manifest new love. You guys have received it. And you guys are acting upon that. And in the future. You receive a future. You see yourself taking a rest. You're taking a break. Um, you're taking a beat at this. In the future. And you receive a future. Ooh wee. That's very interesting guys. <clears throat> huh. So. For you guys. Um, the Eight of Swords is pretty much telling you guys that you, it's overwhelmingness and perhaps reclusiveness is, um, you know, taking this time to find the answers within yourself. This is a transitional period in, where, in which you're moving from stress and overwhelm, overwhelmedness, you know, being overwhelmed rather, to, um, to having that inner peace, to searching for your inner peace, you know? So you're looking for your inner peace through the cloudy, um, the cloudy and like overwhelming amount of thoughts in your head that makes you feel stuck. So you're taking this time. So right now the advice is to take it slow. Um, right now you can't really do much of anything at this time because you are waiting for your manifestation to come back, or you guys are taking action based off of manifest of whatever you manifest, whatever you manifest to come back. But I think this is really just saying that you guys. Are waiting for your manifestation to come back, and you have rest whenever when it returns. Maybe this action after you have your manifestation to come back is you guys taking this rest. Okay. Now, the um, outcome for your readings for your reading for this week is 
the Knight of Swords. This is fighting for what you believe in, um, charging in um, with ideas and um, and your your truth in, at hand. Okay, you see his sword is there. Um, he's all about speaking his truth. And he's not afraid to fight for it. So this is preparing you guys possibly for like although this is a time for going slow it's saying to go slow in the result you'll be able to move on faster that's pretty much what it's saying okay so so to summarize this reading so far uh this is about transition a transitional period okay you know you're feeling stuck at this time um, but you, perhaps you, you have, you don't have the confidence, you're, you're feeling like a bit self, self, uh, self-conscious in regards to, it's in regards to feeling trapped. Maybe you're feeling trapped because you have, you don't have the confidence, um, in yourself to move forward. Cause that's what the hermit could also mean. It's kind of like the strength in a way. It's both of the animal, symbolizing your animalistic side, and in the um, woman in the card representing, um, representing your uh, gentle human nature side. Okay, uh, but the hermit it could also it's pretty much it's very close to sim to similar meanings. It's about trusting within trusting yourself. Um, trusting yourself with information, well, not trusting yourself with information, but trusting yourself to know what you're doing, having self-confidence, self-assurance, self and perhaps you having that lack of self-assurance is keep, is making you guys feel trapped and stuck in your, um, in your thoughts because you have, you don't feel confident in yourselves to find, uh, uh, like internally to find, you know, to find those answers that you need. So this is time to take, take it slow. Um, this, is, this is within this time of waiting. Plan, um, be meticulous as much as you can, because you have a you have some rest coming up in the future. And with all of this happening, you have you know you have you know speed being picked up. Now, the re romance angels card is coming up for you this week. Is keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So. That's very interesting. So perhaps in results to that, not only are you going to be picking up speed, maybe perhaps you're going to be meeting a young or a a slimy. It's like, are you probably you see the person as an immature air sign, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius? But hmm, it's interesting. So maybe this transitional period is maybe. Keep an open mind for yourself. Maybe you're not the same person as you were before. Um, for a lot of you, this, this seems like a very internal message. So, um, so for this, I would feel like I would feel like um, this is being be open minded about the options and the person that you can be after this transitional phase. Okay. Okay, because. Again, this is against like this is about emotional growth for you guys, um, or this is starting a new love. I don't see new love here. Maybe in the past you guys had new love, but this could. I feel like this is definitely emotional growth for y'all. This is a new beginning, and um, you guys to you know feeling yourself again, growing in an emotional in the in an emotional aspect, if that makes sense. Uh, but this is a time of waiting because you're still transitioning from one phase of your life to another. Okay, so so that's that's what I think. In your wisdom of the oracle card, you have observer. This is about taking a step back and looking and paint and watching a world around you, gathering information so that way you can make the best decision that you could possibly make. Now. This isn't about making any decision, but this is definitely about, you know, paying attention and watching your behaviors. Okay. It doesn't have to necessarily be your behaviors as well. It could be people around you and how you don't want to act or okay, based off of them. Um, this is also about changing a perspective here. Oh, this is about, you know, watching so that way it alters your perspective. You know, watching with, you know, objectivity. 
don't be uh, not having a subjective view on it, but actually looking at a situation from as much si- as many sides of as possible to be objective. So this is like it's kind of like the nine of Knight of Pentacles. Although he's being strategic and meticulous, but he's also very slow. Okay, he doesn't move very fast because he doesn't have a subjective view. He's moving slow to take as much in as possible. Okay. All right, guys. This has been your reading. Um, with love, may love prevail. Good luck on you, we guys, through this transitional period. Um, you guys will have the speed, and again, and you guys do have the self confidence. Okay, you guys do have the confidence to get through the cl- the cluttered and cloudy um, thoughts in your brain that make you feel stuck. Okay, um, this is just a time to move slow and be observant. Okay.